got a book, so you're going to have a sermon today, guys. So metrics for Top Tracer, that's, that's in my notes today. It is very bright as well. Um, Top Tracer will record things like ball speed, launch angle, angle of descent, carry, total distance, um, and a few other things. Now, I really like Top Tracer 12. You get all, all of those numbers in there and proximity to the hole, so it's actually testing your ability on it. And Top Tracer 30 is, is more like a game scenario. It rolls out, so you've got to think about where you're going to land it and where it's going to roll to. Top Tracer 12 is all based on carry. Other than driver, driver it will work out the carry as well. Um, another couple of metrics for Top Tracer is the gapping ability, so obviously knowing how far you hit each club, you have to hit a minimum of five shots per club and it will give you a consistency. Um, and then obviously we can improve it from there, or it can just be a gapping session and you know how far you're hitting everything for that day, that week, or what you do consistently, but I recommend you do that at least once a month. Um, playing, you could play obviously virtual golf, you've got 18 holes, 9 holes, you could play all the par 3s, all the par 4s, all the par 5s, you could just pick a 3 hole loop, a 6 hole loop, as whatever you want, um, which I quite like. You've got the approach challenge and the driver challenge. Now, I rattled through them quite quickly because I really want to focus on Top Tracer Coach, which is a facility, it's a website based facility that I offer, and I can obviously manage how you practice, what you practice, what we're working on, and why we're working on it, so I can give you a plan ahead of time, like I got a lesson in a little minute with one of my clients, and we're gonna be building out his performance package, for want of a better phrase, um, or his session plans is a better word, over the next probably three to four weeks. So he's got all of his sessions, and then they're ready to go. We will review ideally every other week, and then we'll have a big review at the end of the month. Um, and we're gonna be looking at ball speed, the launch angle, and the descent angle is going to be the, probably the big things that we're going to look at. And descent angle is important because if you're hitting it into a green and it's coming in shallower than 50 degrees, it's just going to skip out on you. And obviously, the more we can get that descent angle coming in steeper, you know, 50 degrees and above, it's more likely to have the backspin. It's going to stop just because of descent and gravity being more on your side. Um, if you found this useful, what I'd recommend you do is get yourself a profile on Top Tracer play around with it, have a go on the warm-up, do a gap in session, then play Top Tracer 12. Top Tracer 30 is very hard, only 4% of people that start it finish it. Um, and yeah, let me know how you get on, and if you would like some more information, I will, or you want some help, but whatever, like, subscribe, it's wherever those things are. Um, and join my school community, you'll learn a lot in there from how to improve your golf all the way through to your time management and how to get the best bang for buck for your practice. Anyway, just play golf.